These two on machine code for numbers show something remarkable. They show that each and every number can be represented with just two symbols, ones and zeros. For example, five is one zero one. Three is one one. 13 is one one zero one. Just two symbols and you've got all the numbers. People think that's really neat. They actually give these codes a special name. They call them base two codes, or they sometimes call them binary codes. That prefix by means the number two. There they are, binary codes. But here's the real reason why people think they're particularly neat. Computers. Computers are built on electrical switches, and each switch is either on or off. That's it. Computers can only ever work with two symbols, a switch that's on or a switch that's off. And this is perfect. We can now have a way to do all of mathematics in computers based on electrical switches. For example, for a computer to represent the number five, follow this pattern. Use three switches, here's three switches, put the first one on, keep the second one off, and put the third one on. There's how computers represent the number five. And that's exactly how computers to this day do all the mathematics. Whoa, they use binary codes. In fact, it's really handy in another sense, literally a handy sense. I've got five digits. I'm gonna actually encode all this arithmetic on my hand instead. I'm going to copy on each of my fingers those dot values, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Here goes. This might not show on the camera, but my first digit, my thumb, I'm going to write the number 1. On my next digit, I'm going to write the number 2. On the next digit, the number 4. Next one over, I'm going to write 8. And the final one's going to be 16. Barely fits, but there it is. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. Because this now means I have a way to represent lots of numbers on a single hand. Here's the number 1. Just put up the 1. Here's the number two, just put up the two. Here's the number three, put up the one and the two. The one and the two. Here's the number four, just put up the number four. Here's the number five, put up the one, zero, one. Ah, oh, that's it, five. A one, no twos, and a four. One and four is five. There's six, there's seven, there's eight, there's nine. I can keep on going. But I can do really big numbers like this number. What's this number? It's a one, it's a two, it's a four, and a 16. So that's 23. There's the number 23. One, 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 zero, one. Then how high can I go? Well, the highest I can go on one hand would be all the digits up. A one, two, four, eight, and 16. So four and 16 is 20, two and eight is 10, that's 31. I can now count to 31 on a single hand, which is remarkable. Which now makes me think, if I kept going, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and so on, and did all 10 digits, how high could I count now on two hands? Well, that's a cool question.